So let's talk about real quick some ETH whales, right? So uh, they're writing articles about me now, and, uh, and and so let's let's read about one of them, right? Top ETH whales grab Matic Link FTX as market remains in decline. You see that big? Uh, what kind of is that a? Blue? That, that, that should be a hump whale. Is that a humpback whale? Yeah. That a, that's not a blue whale. That's a humpback whale. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, it's think, a whale. No, that's not a blue whale. I don't think so. Okay. All right, it's a whale. Um, so Matic Link FTX. Over the past 24 hours, some whales on the top 1,000 ETH list have purchased large amounts of Link, Polygon, and FTX, continuing to bet on these coins while the declining Bitcoin price is pushing the whole cryptocurrency market to the south. Meanwhile, 18.2 million Matic has been transferred by Binance and anonymous crypto wallets, right? As Bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market remains in decline, data provided by whale stats shows that in the past 24 hours, several whales that are on the on the list of the top 1,000 ETH have purchased quite a bit of Matic, Link, and FTX. Three whales have bought a combined 7.275 million Matic. That is equivalent to about $15 million. This was acquired by the wallets ranked 169,119 and 557 by whale stats. It goes through and it starts talking about some of these transactions, guys. Let, let's let, listen. I don't need to tell you all of the, you know, the little numbers that that they're, you know, filtering through here. The reality is we have some large movement happening. Oh, but tell them, I, I, the people want to know, Nick. The people want to know. Bring that, bring that back up and show them the numbers because people all right, don't all right, see it right, unless they don't believe right. it unless they see it. So we all need right. to give the people right. what they want. So we got 222,801 link, if you want to get specific, that have been bought but by another three whales, that? right? That's how- $5.705 million, right? That's a lot, right? Two Zero. whales. Here's a big one. You got you ready for this one? Two whales have bought 85 million, 85.522611 million dollars worth of XTX FTX token, right? For those of you that uh um uh for those of you that aren't familiar with that, that's 2.458959 FTX, right? <laughs> uh an ETH whale just bought 1,049,990 FTX tokens. That's 36 million. And let's see here. We got any more on here? I think there's a little um, bit over down here somewhere. No, that, and, uh, yeah, that's yeah, our keep going. Here we go, right here. Whales, Whales move 18.2 18. million Matic. According to the whale alert, two large Matic transfers have been conducted over the past 15 hours. Binance Exchange has shifted 5.861 ma- uh, million Matic tokens between its internal wallets. That's the that amount of crypto constitutes 12.119 million dollars in fiat. And the second transfer was between two anonymous wallets that carried twice as many coins, a whopping 12.4 million Matic worth about 26 million dollars. So, guys, what is what? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Miguel answer this. And hey, you know what? Drop this in the chat. What do you think? Drop this in the chat. What do you think it means when the whole market is in absolute decline? Everybody's scared, all sorts of chaos going on, yet we have multi million dollar buys happening specifically on the Ethereum network. A lot happening over in, uh, in the Ethereum network. But what do you think it means as a whole? Miguel, explain to the people what does it mean to you when you see this? So it, it means to me that they see the future, right? They see that, yes, this decline is temporary. Does it suck? Yes. Could they be, you know, maybe losing some money on the way down? Maybe. But they're not afraid to dollar cost average, right? There's, uh, And that is the thing. And just because you don't have millions of dollars and I don't have millions of dollars and the audience might not have millions of dollars doesn't mean they can't dollar cost average, right? It's different per, it's different percentages, but you can also be dollar cost averaging in these low prices if you manage your capital the right way and you don't dollar cost average the I throw all my all my capital at the first coin I see the in the first dip that I see, right? If you got to you got to divide up your capital for multiple dips. You got to always plan multiple dips ahead of time, right? We're not playing checkers here, guys. We're playing chess and dollar cost averaging uh, in crypto is a chess game it's an accumulation game it's a game about time it's not about getting rich right overnight so when you're playing chess you're not going to win in two moves you're not going to win in three moves it might take hours to to beat this game and take lots of moves so you always got to plan ahead of time 
Andrew, we're not uh, saying whale manipulation. So you're saying whale manipulation is starting to sound like the default excuse for everything. Actually, that's not oh, even no, what we were no. getting at. We weren't talking about manipulation at all. We were saying, guys, there's large buys happening. And generally, when these, what you have to realize is when these massive buys are happening, these are the people that, again, talk that are at those dinner parties that we talk about. So we weren't even talking about whale manipulation as much as we were just saying, hey, the big dogs are buying, okay? And this yeah. ta 